like it's picture but I still use it because um, it, it gets to search you any zombie type but I don't like it because it just it's so slow it just has to get uh, taken off the field to the graveyard I don't know I don't really don't like that kind of stuff so but it's still good like let's say this is the only option you have and like a handful of dead cards search out like a zombie master and you have a place better in hand synchro that it, it'll take you a uh, certain distance but not that far so it's okay next card is place better a must have because when you mill him it's a plus when you get him to the field by zombie master it's a plus and you also could synchro basically twice with him even when you don't um, have something to revive him you could use his own effect and get him to the field He's a zombie, so a level two, so it's awesome. Yeah. Next card is Chaos Sorcerer. Um, you have to remove a light and dark, so you can filter the amount of darks you have in your graveyard like this. Um, and he's sweet, like remove a face-up card in the field, uh, monster actually. Um, and he also has, has this great attack. Uh, you have to note that you could also use this effect in main phase two. So, let's say um you go into main phase two um somehow and you see the monster that your opponent somehow got like a what with pyramid turtle or, or mystic tomato whatever Pyram yeah mystic tomato um you special summon them during main phase two as long as this card doesn't attack you can use this effect main phase two uh that's the willing on it so um i checked it up so don't argue with me this you could check it up also you know don't take offense to it phantom of chaos i haven't really tried him but I took uh, advice from this guy named Richard. He's really good uh, at this game, so I'm, I'm like, whatever. Let, let me just try this card out. So Phantom of Chaos, he'll let you um, copy a monster's effect in the graveyard. So copy Dark Arm, Chaos Sorcerer, Lila, whatever. And like, even when you mill it, and let's say it's a a card that you need, like a monster card, you summon him and get that copy this effect and name. I think yeah, name and the attack. Um, so it's great. Uh, the last monsters are three Necrogardena. Uh, it's a great milling. It's great milling material. Um, and he gets he gets to negate attack, so opponent has game, gets not. Uh, and then. It's also a dark, so it's great, and you could also pitch it when it's in your hand with Luminous Effect or Zombie Master. It's great in this deck, trust me. And three is awesome. You could also just set him 13 defense. I don't know. Sometimes your opponent just can't get through that. For the spells, um, I have Charge of the Light Brigade. Only one, unfortunately, but it's still great. If you have that dead hand, you could uh, make it stellar with this card, but just by drawing it. So charge and just make your whole hand worthwhile. Oh, I forgot to say this just searches out a level four lower life storm monster. Next card is three solo recharge. Discard a life storm, draw two cards, and no, mill two cards, then draw two cards. So, um, get rid of those dead cards in your hand, like Lumina. Not, she's not always dead, but sometimes you need that, you need to draw that card. You need to draw those extra cards. So, that, that's why I have these, to get rid of dead draws, like wolves and stuff. One Monster Reincarnation. Um, this card is a minus, like, uh, since I don't have the JD or some, nothing like that. I only use one, and... I don't really rely on this card too much, like, hey, I could use Celestia and keep repeating if I have two um, in my deck, but I don't know, I think I could win it without two, so that's why I only use one. Foolish Burial, dump a monster from your deck. What can I say, just get that wolf, sack for Celestia, or Mizuki, or that third dark target that you need for Dark Arm. Book of Life. Um, just a revival card, it's like Monster Reborn for zombies instead, and, but 
side effect is actually um a criteria for this card is that you need your opponent needs to have a monster in their graveyard for you to move but sometimes that could really help like um let's say they have uh what the third dark they need to go dark on next turn remove it uh they drew dark arm too bad they can't use it um it's also it could get you those on uh, what's called despairs or zombie match just plays better or whatever Moss Reborn, a staple, most decks, not all decks, but he just gets any monster, not, not much to say. It also could get you that one monster you need to go for game. Next card is, sorry for the interruption, but um, the next card is Lightning Vortex, uh, with a lot of swarming decks in the meta right now. Like Black Wings and Rescue Cat, and the cheap too, so a lot of people is gonna start using them. And Life Swarms, um, they're not cheap, but a lot of people still use them. Lightning Vortex, uh, it's a great tech. People stop, start up using it, but it's a really great card in this deck because all those discarding cards you have, like Nungle Garner, they're gonna give you that. Um, plus, you need, so I don't consider this getting any minus. You also get like, um, uh, clear field. If your opponent has like five monsters with black wings, they get five monsters easily with the whirlwinds and everything. So it's great. Card destruction. It'll get it'll get rid of dead hands and um, get stellar hands at least uh, with all those cards you discarded. Hopefully, I'm just testing this out for now, but I don't know how it's gonna work out. So. I might not use this in then, but let's see what happens. Next card is Heavy Storm. Destroy back row, help you go for game. Pretty uh, self-explanatory. For the traps, I only want two, and that's Threatening Roar. I know people tend to use Beckling Light, but I don't really have a lot of stuff, light stuff that I want from the graveyard. So, and I tested Beckling a lot, so I think these are just the best trap cards to run in this deck. So, that's it for today's deck of the day. Thanks.